right, y'all. Welcome back to Katie Resin. Today, I'm going to do the 12-gauge uh, uh, coasters. I'm going to put gold, like, in these, and in the 12th, and over here, like a gold glitter. So, let's go ahead and get started. This is probably going to be a long one. If it gets too long, I'll just do one instead of both. I kind of like to keep them sh the video uh, short and sweet. I'm going to put you on time lapse for this part. I know since I'm watching all this. All right, y'all, I hope y'all can see both of these. Uh, I'm going to pour them. I can't believe I just put that stick there with resin on it. It's late at night. I'm getting ready to go to bed after I pour these. This has taken quite some time to uh, pour. I'm looking for my black. There it is, right there. I'm gonna back these in black. My son is gonna love these. My son and my daughter-in-law both deer hunt. Uh, my grandson does as well. Uh, Trey is in the seventh grade. And he's been hunting two years in a row. And he's gotten three deer already. He got two last year and one the year before. So, he's got a love for it too. That hunting kids hunting is totally normal here where i live we ha we even have a drive your tractor to school day out here at this local at the school and i'm not i'm not kidding about that at all you could probably google it i think there's several counties around that have that in Kentucky. I think my son and my, da my daughter-in-law like these too. My daughter-in-law deer hunts too. And my son. I went one year with my son, not to really deer hunt, just to spend time with him. And we saw more deer on the car ride over than we did when we got out in them woods. All right, 
I'm going to pour these up. I'm going to spray them first with the alcohol. Spray a little bit in there, too. I don't know how these many ounces these will take. It don't look like it's going to take too much at all, does it? I'm going to have to fix more of these because I know my son and my daughter-in-law is going to love these. I, have to, I know there's five in the family, but I don't, I don't know if she has a coaster. They might take them to their bedrooms and put them, put their drinks on them. I think that was a pretty good guess. I did seven ounces and I've got, I can't see how many I got left. I'm gonna, I just got this mode today at uh, Hobby Lobby. It's a little dog's foot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this up real quick. And I don't know if there'll be enough there to pour it or not, but. I use black white, so. I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me move that. And put that up there. I didn't know if you can see it or not. I hope so. We went out today to get something to eat and went to Hobby Lobby and Michael's. My husband's such a good sport about all this. I'm going to have to see if I can't get Mercy's name in this somehow. This is a plus. I got to use all of the gold and all of the black. That's me running just a little bit shy on this gold. Oh no. I'm gonna have to mix up just a little bit more, y'all. 
stack on it. I couldn't find my dotting tools and so I got some I was on a mission today to get dotting tools for this reason and um for spreading the resin we went to Hobby Lobby couldn't find any found them at Michael's then I got on Timu y'all on the drive home I didn't even tell my husband how cheap they were on Timu. So the next time I order, I'll, I'll put some uh, dotting tools in there. My stuff tends to disappear. I don't understand it. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in here. Let it go for about three minutes. I'm going to give these a little spray again. All right, y'all. I got Mercy's little footprint out. And I'm going to go ahead and spray it with alcohol. And while I'm at it, I go, so I'll go ahead and spray those again, too, because it went on them anyway. <laughs> I hope y'all can see that. I'll have to pour these for my grand dogs. I, um, my oldest daughter, their family has um, one dog, well, one dog, and uh, his name is Toby. And then my youngest daughter. Their family has two dogs, Gunner and Rusty. And my son and his family have two dogs, Layla and Max. So, and then my sister also, we, she has a little dog named Winston. My uh, brother has a dog named Archie. So everybody might get a Christmas ornament in their stocking for, with the dog's name on them. And then hang them on a Christmas tree. I'm all about Christmas ornaments, y'all. All right. I got a little bit left. I'll find something to put that in. It's not going to hold it all for sure. I don't have nothing small like that. <laughs> I'll just put it in there. I bet y'all are thinking she'll put that on her black and white Christmas tree, right? Well, it looks like it filled it up. And it's domed perfectly. Craig because I poured it so many times. All right. We'll be demolding these very shortly. Hey y'all, let's unload this stuff. It's a little bit soft. That's way soft, isn't it?
That looks good. This has got some overspill on it. Oh, that looks good. I'll except for that overspill. I'm going to wait till that cures to get that off so I don't break it. Um, the top of it is still a little sticky, so I'm going to put it in the in the curing machine. See? Now look at these guys. Oh my goodness, look at that, y'all. Wow. That looks awesome. It's an arm breaker, or at least that one is. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh my word. Yep. Those are arm breakers. Yep, my son and daughter-in-law is going to flip over these. Or let's hope that they do anyway. Wow. Those are cool. There's a little bit of black there. And there's a little bubble there. I was afraid they'd come bubble up a little bit. Uh, you can see I missed that a little bit. I think I can put something back in there. And bring that bring that one down just to look. Can you see that? Bring that one down just a little bit more. I'm gonna use these as a Christmas ornament too, y'all. This is done. Yep. That's not sticky no more at all. I'll put Mercy's name on that and I'll drill a hole about here. And I probably should give it a top coat over that paw where I put her name. All right, y'all. I got her name on there. There we are. Now I'll get her uh, paws. Top coated. Let me see, where's my tool? I should have gloves on, I know.
shines bright like a diamond with the top coat on it, don't it? I'm running out of UV resin. Sorry about the length of this video, y'all. Feel free to fast forward if you want. this I'm gonna bring this back black back to life with a shiny coat on it with the UV resin Mercy's kind of an extra little dog anyway so she needs to be shiny Need to get a smaller dotting tool. Come on, let's finish this one up, then you can go out. My husband, bless his heart, is fixing steak and baked potato which is my favorite. He is a the grill master. He puts the potato the baked potatoes on there as well. It's Sunday morning, so well, the time changed. So, let me see what time. It is. It's 12 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to put this in the curing machine. Okay, while the footprint is in the curing machine, I'm going to fix this uh, one over here. That was really bothering me. I wonder if I should put gold in that. Is 
use that too much. I've already started it now, so I kind of got it too, don't I? This uh, UV resin was left from last night when I was working on these. That's the good thing about UV resin is if it's not cured, you can still use it overnight, I guess. I like it better in black. I wonder if I can get that out of there. I bet that glitter is going to be everywhere, ain't it? I don't know if I'll be able to get that out or not. Yeah, I'll make it better out. But that one did need to be fixed. All right, looks like Mercy's little paw print's done, so I'm going to put that in there. I think that turned out really cute. I'm going to drill a hole in him. I'm going to clean up those edges, too. I won't do it on video. I think that's that. That's a wrap. We'll see y'all next video.